Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, nice. Already uh, just the bobbing him there with the side beat. Out with yeah. these dash dance shields. It really is, man. They're both these players, like, just the movement that you can do around each other in this matchup is super crazy. Seagull keeping the pressure up, man. 56% uh, uh, damage on board right now. Surprised he got away with uh, just holding that. And then the so. Good stuff though to Permelia. No, it's gonna be a slower match. And oh, not able to convert. Just too far off. Right, but this is exactly the way Permelia actually needs to have the pace set. You know, Seagull will do it himself, but Permelia is really ensuring it's too staying that far away, keeping his range. Knowing, you know, I have tools that can hit you from this far, so, yeah. Uh, Pamela, yeah, when he slows it down, uh, he starts to get his horizontal wall going in, and he, like, selects his situations right, uh, can be super scary, especially when he gets the spacing right. So, very scary matchup for both parties, honestly. Alright, back there, gonna click. Off stage, and another, back and another one. Yeah, I mean, you know, I wasn't expecting that myself. You know, we see what thrown out there. Those are the those options where you need to take stocks. You get to good players. Uh, for Melee Tony, he's got some backers too, and they're just like good. that. Getting that weak dragon thing shot, but that's all he needed to convert into that side B tipper. He doesn't get the back air off that look, but... I'm liking honestly some of the uh, movement from Pamalia right now. He's gonna throw that air box nice. there. So long as he has another grab and. Situation, but uh, Pamela gonna jump it up. Pamela keeping center stage there for duration. So. Ooh, nice side B call out right uh -oh. there. I'm gonna go ahead and flip him. Almost gets a follow up there. Oh, now, oh, Pamela slicing though. Okay. Juggles right now. <laughs> Very good for Pamela. Yeah, the, the kind of bubble that he's creating outside himself uh, by zoning him out with some of these uh, big, audacious aerials. That's what I'm saying, man. This is like, yeah, we need to play it, I feel like. Like, this whole, like, past 30 seconds has felt so different from, like, the course of the game. Yeah, yeah because, you know, Seagull, though, he's actually really trying to find his way in, almost forcing his way in at this point, uh, and really taking complete advantage of that. Yeah. That was uh, defensive game really strong, so. Two and a half minutes on the board, pretty much. We'll see what happens, though. Ooh, nice spot dodge. And good Ooh, back in the back air coming taking through, man. Game one. That was, uh, that was super nice. Very calculated. As soon as he, as soon as he got him in that uh, that little shelf of space, the horizontally, and just ran through, did what he needed to do, throws out the back air, and takes game one. So. Now, see what stage he decided to go to now. Now this is actually where I feel like he may. Uh, this may help out Pamelia as well. You know, you have more space to deal with. You know, no platforms. Just you right in front of me to make my wall. And whenever, uh, because there's a lack of platforms, whenever both these characters start juggling each other, it's a lot harder to escape. So, we'll see how this works. I'm surprised we didn't get a, uh, a Dreamlander on a uh, Town City Town pick. Early up, you're gonna go ahead and just float and grab that ledge. trying to get some damage on the board right now. I mean, he has a 65% uh, a little bit of a deficit, but I think that percentage doesn't really matter as much as it's uh, It's just that he 
whoever takes that first stock off is going to force the other person to approach. Alright, throw a situation right now. Staying oh. that shield there, and I think dropping it just a little. <laughs> yeah, dropping right it right at the second. wrong time. It happens, man. That's, a, that's the intimidation when you get from Sonic, man. You start charging that up, I start doing scary things. Going with that mirror and trying to connect to the up there, but not able to. Single Joe looks dominant on this counter I've uh, proven myself wrong. I'm pretty okay with it. Nice uh, double pair coming out, though. Back here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I knew know. he flew, but I don't know if it was just quite enough, but it was. And now a really good lead from Single Joe. See, this is where Sonic turns to one of the best in the game. He yeah. has a solid lead like this. It's so hard to deal with it. Alright, clips into the up air after that throw. This aerial is Alright. Okay. Seal Joe going in. Going in. Everything sure. just working out in his way. Oh my gosh, that back air was so clean. Yeah, he just wanted to end it right there. Get him with the foot. He was, he was about to do it. And another. Oh my goodness. He okay. basically. That whole second stock. From oh, was un he was did not touch him. Only 1%. That was nuts. It's like as soon as he got that stock, he got like permission to choose his moments, and then he just had a lot of really good moments that second stock. Like, oh my god. He literally chose read everything right that time. Yep. Perfect uh, second stock. Alright man, game three. Where do you think Primalia goes in this situation? Like <laughs> more platforms for sure or Yeah, I would say platforms. So, well, you know, you think the FD would have helped out, but Single found his way in. So once he found his way in, once he found his way through the maze, Three, basically two, that all my one, game in itself is over. Go. Yeah, let's see if uh, Familia can uh, provide some platform pressure with some of uh, Corrin's quick aerials. Oh no. This stage is uh, also somewhat good for Sonic in certain situations. It could go either way there. Nice. Uh, up till uh, not up till hitting the spring, so he's not gonna get hit for that. Nice spot there. With the, the audio playback and that board air, whenever it hits on the field, it feels like it should be more uh, shield pressure. It's yeah. Man. <laughs> Much more. Ooh, trying to get an air dodge read there, but Seagull, despite being <laughs> out of any situation, that was going to have that. Nice. Finally, from Melee able to uh, keep holding down field, not getting scared by the uh, charge. Super nutty uh, horizontal thing on that right now. Seagull's taking the first hit though. Both just running around, not really hitting in that situation. Ooh, nice spring ride into uh, forward air. Go ahead and clip from it. Still super even right now on that game. All right, and the wings helping him out there. It's really the only vulnerable part on uh, Korn on the is the head. It's very hard to hit that. <laughs> the wings are covered so much space. Stage, uh, that's the place for Seagull right now. And what through. a good pick coming in from Familia. Literally just poking him out. Like. <laughs> so Corrin with the with the stock lead right now, super important. Let's see how much uh, extra credit he can rack up. Seagull gets every answer right on the test last time. What a lead uh, there. He chose the right answer, man. He picked C. He just waited right <laughs> in front of him, saw him spot up, like, all right, take this first. Yep. So now we're at an even game. <laughs> Go ahead and get that grab off, but uh, no follow up. You know, he's getting a lot of knowledge of these aerials for the fact that he's seeing that Seagull is getting you know, a lot of stuff going on with these uh, spin dashes. So he has to come in and uh, know those disjointed hitboxes. Dodges that uh, deadly up air. Right you know, he's doing a very good job just getting off that platform and inside and pressure on himself. Seagull taking a pretty small lead here. Okay, juggle situation coming after Formalia. Let's see if she's going. But uh, Seagull reverses it. Oh, up with the up air. Back air 
situation. Uh, Morin, pretty far off. Yeah, good job by Kimura. Just to, taking notes of what happened earlier this set. Getting up all those back airs. Yeah, he waited a little bit. Just air dust too, a little low. I think he flipped by the spring there. Really good pen there. It's on lock side B. Familia has just been keeping uh, stage control right now. Uh, just uh, that actually, all that space in the middle of a uh, battlefield is basically Warren's office, like straight up. Like. <laughs> and oh, not able to get a lush run back here. Ooh, that's scary. Now, single Joe off stage. Let's see what Joe can do here. Actually, just running inside of the shield. I feel like he could have got a punish off of that. Sonic fast enough to uh, get something going there. Oh, okay. Super just moving around. Players right now. I wonder if Seagulls can take advantage of him just going, clock trotting back and forth and going straight in the shield. Both players know him. There's probably only one or two uh, hits left in the set. Throwing all the hitboxes, but you know, threading the needle through everything. Quite literally. Like, <laughs> yeah. Trying to get that side B to come through. Oh, what I'm I'm get I think he's trying to go for. That's definitely trying to go for. Oh! oh. Oh man, that perfect spring spacing, man. Uh, wow. Not survive. What awareness from Cedar Joe. Seagull smiling, man. No, no, he clutched that one out for sure. But uh, man, good stuff to both players, mm -hmm. man. That was that was an exhibition on how.